My passion was football. You're not going to play football when you're in a chair, are you? I tried basketball and hockey and stuff like that. Got my first racing chair when I was about nine, I think. Was on the GB squad when I was about 12. Good sports chair will feel secure fast and it'll feel well built. The chair's made of aluminium. It's solid, there's hardly any padding because that's where you lose power. The design team have um, worked with me for years. Everything is fitted for me and that's what you want when you want something that get you gold medals. The technique of the push, it's a bit like basketball. It's like a punching motion. You use your thumb, the index fingers, make sure you're contacting the rim at the right point. The racing chair has to be part of you, so you mould into that machine. It has to be flowing, and it has to be aerodynamic. Not an add-on, it has to be like it's coming from my body. And it should fit to the millimetre. What we want to make is the car like a custom fit um, suit. My name is Raphael Bichler. My main issue is the biomechanics. In the very early design process, we are having a virtual mannequin. It's called Ramses. It's a digital human. can calculate all the stress in the body, for example, the forces in the joints. If you steer very fast or use the gear shift very fast, you need some clearance space for your elbow or for your shoulders. It would be best if the driver and the car are together as one. You've got to be part of that machine that gets you around that track. The tyres are pumped up to 170 psi, front and back. You and Thomas calls me the machine. Wait for the gun. Our arms are like gears. You have a number of different tactics and your chair has to react instantly. It all comes very quickly. Hitting the compensator at each bend, because if you hit it wrong, you could take the field out, you could take yourself out. The lungs are very important. You get more intake, the blood flows easier around your body, so you're not fatiguing. I don't really hear the crowd. All you can hear is just a noise. <laughs> the noise of the wheels. The park is special. I never get bored training in there because it's so beautiful. rough roads and hills and turns. And it's tough. Made me a, the athlete I am now. The ultimate dream for any British athlete is to get on that rush run. That drives me on every day. Listening to 80,000 people singing the national anthem. I might get a bit teary-eyed there.